I want to show you how to create a trimmed mean in Microsoft Excel. The reason we use a trimmed mean is when we have data that has outliers or extreme values. And we want to report the data more honestly because an outlier can skew the arithmetic mean. So what we'll do is trim off the five or 10% of the highest and lowest scores to look at just the values in the middle. We're gonna create both a 5% and a 10% trimmed mean using Microsoft Excel. Now for this example, I'm going to be using the center and spread week five Excel spreadsheet, which is available both in class and in a link in the description for this video. I'm going to be using the tab trimmed in which we're going to create our trimmed mean. If you want to see what this is going to look like at the end, the second tab shows you our ending point. Let's go back to trimmed mean. And I want to point out the data that we're using. I've created two data sets. One is normally distributed, as you can see from its distribution right here. The other is right skewed or positively skewed. You can see its distribution right here. We're gonna create the mean and the trimmed mean for both the normal and the skewed distributions. And then you can see the effect of trimming the mean, whether we do not have outliers, such as in the normal distribution, or whether we do have outliers, as in the skewed distribution. The formulas will appear over here in these orange boxes. We're gonna start over here in cell H7, which is the mean for the normal distribution. Creating a mean, or an arithmetic mean, is the word average. So I'll begin with equal sign, average, open parentheses, and I'm going to use a trick that I showed you last time. I'm just going to click on A. It gives me all the values for uh, the column A. Return. There my value is 24. Now for my skewed data set, I'll use exactly the same procedure, equal sign, Average, open parentheses, and now I want the values in column B and return. The values for the skewed data set are 24.6. So we see that the skewed mean is slightly higher. That's because the outliers are pulling the data out to the positive end. Let's see what happens if we start trimming off some values from the upper and lower extremes. To create a trimmed mean for the normal distribution, I'm going to go to cell uh, H9, equal sign, T-R-I-M-M-E-A-N, open parentheses, and I want the data from the normal distribution, which are in column A. However, there is a second argument that I need, and that is the percent that is going to be trimmed for this mean. So I'm going to type a comma, followed by the percent, which I'm actually going to make as a proportion, point zero five. Close parentheses and return. I see that the five percent trim to mean for my normal distribution is point twenty four point zero three. Do the same thing for that skewed distribution. Equal sign T R I M M E A N. Open parentheses. Data are in column B, comma, and a point zero five or five percent trimmed mean. Now the data for the trimmed distribution, the mean for the trimmed distribution has come in uh, by 0.3 or three tenths of a point. You notice it changed very little, three one hundredths of a point with the uh, normal distribution. That's because the outliers are being trimmed out. Let's do one more. Let's create a 10% trimmed mean. So I'm going to go to H11. Equal sign, T-R-I-M-M-E-A-N, open parentheses. The normal distribution is in column A, comma, 0 0.10, or 0 0.1, 10% trimmed mean, and return. We see that the 10% trimmed mean didn't change at all for the normal distribution. But let's try it with our skewed distribution. Equal sign, T-R-I-M-M-E-A-N. Open parentheses, column B, comma, and a point one. Then that'd be a one zero. Close parentheses and return. 24.29. So I'm trimming the 
outliers off of that skewed data set and it's bringing the values in. Of course, every time you trim either five or 10%, you are losing data. So as I look at the options for uh, the 24.3, the 24.29, I would say that using a 5% trimmed mean for this skewed data set is going to be enough. I'm not gonna use a 10% because I'm not getting any gain from trimming those additional data points. And I also am not gonna lose those data points. They'll stay in the data set, but I can use my 5% trimmed mean to show a distributional mean that is more accurate or more descriptive of the skewed data. So that's how I would create a trimmed mean in Microsoft Excel.